Hi everyone, it's Mio and today I have a tutorial for you to show you how to create this really cute Pusheen planter pot. I've seen many individuals get the official Pusheen mystery box and got this really cute Pusheen planter pot and I really loved it so much that I wanted to create my own. This planter pot is so easy to create and you can put all sorts of different types of plants inside your planter pot. Mine doesn't actually have the holes in the bottom because I'm not very good with real live plants so I actually used a lot of fake plants to use my planter pot in. This planter pot makes a great gift for any Pusheen lover and if you want to use it to decorate your home environment such as your desk or your home office, I think this makes a wonderful item. For more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And do check out my other social media websites such as Instagram and Twitter for more frequent updates about tutorials that are going to come here on my channel very soon. You're going to start off with some air drying clay. I bought this air drying clay at Daiso, which is a $1.50 Japanese store. They're very cheap. You can buy the Crayola version. It's just a piece of clay that air dries and it's very, very lightweight and very affordable. And you're going to need something to start your bottom base of your pot. I got this from one of those 25 or 75 cent machines. They actually look a little bit different than I remember them in my childhood, but you just need part of it. I got the bottom part, but you can use the top part if you want, and I'm just going to cut off the rim just to make it a little more even and round. If cutting off the rim is too hard for you, that's fine. You can just cover it up with clay. It's not a big deal. I went ahead and cut mine off just so that it would just be easier for me to kind of gauge how big this piece was going to be. So using your air drying clay, you're going to go ahead and mush it up and make sure that it's really nice and soft and even. And go ahead and cover the bottom plastic piece of your little 75 cent toy machine thing and cover it up very, very evenly. I also covered the inside of the pot, but if you actually want to put a real plant inside it, it's probably best that you don't fill it inside just so that it's more practical that way. And if you have some really uneven spots like I do on my little pushing planter pot, you can smooth it out using some water. Water really helps smooth out air drying clay. And this is what my planter pot looks like so far. Let's start by adding some of Pusheen's details. So I'm gonna start by creating its cute little ears. So I just take some air drying clay, shape them into triangles and stuck them on top. And I really wanted to blend it in. So all I did was put a little bit of water and just keep blending away over and over again. And eventually you'll make a very seamless transition into the planter pot like so. Sometimes this process can get a little messy. So if you don't wanna get your table dirty, you might wanna place something at the very bottom first. Once you're happy with the ear placement, you're just going to move on to the finer details of your little pushing cat. So I'm gonna place on the legs first. I'm just pinching off small pieces of air drying clay that are very, very tiny, and I roll them into small little peg legs, just like the actual panther pot. Instead of just painting on Pusheen's face, I think it would look really nice to have more of a three-dimensional face. So I went ahead and made eyes, this little mouth, and whiskers using air drying clay. I think it adds a little more dimension. I just followed the exact replica of the face seen on the actual Pusheen planter pot. But if you want to have Pusheen to have a different facial expression, you can totally change it up a bit. And actually, I really like how the pot looks now. I think it looks very organic and super urban, but if you want to paint your planter pot, you absolutely can. So I went ahead and painted so you guys can get a general idea of what it looks like. I use some light gray paint to paint the entire pot gray. Since air drying clay is very sensitive to water, you don't want to put on huge chunks of coats of paint. You just want to make sure it's very light and easy. And if you do put on a lot of paint, you want to make sure you use your paintbrush very, very gently so you don't reshape the actual pot itself. So just make sure you take your time to cover all of the edges and that there aren't any pieces that are left unpainted. And of course, go ahead and fill in the facial features and the different parts of Pusheen in its correlated color. So I went ahead and painted the eyes black and some of the details into a really, really dark gray. And this, guys, is what my Pusheen Potter plant looks like. I think it turned out super cute and again, I think it makes a wonderful gift, especially for any of your Pusheen lover friends. This is a really affordable and easy project to create. And if you actually wanna use yours with a real potted plant, like I said earlier, just don't fill the center part with some air drying clay, because again, it's sensitive to water. If you just leave the plastic bottom there, you can easily put water there and it won't affect the actual air drying clay part that's covering the outside. 
I want to thank you guys so much for being patient for this video to come out. Thank you guys so much for watching and of course give me a thumbs up for more videos like these and subscribe if you haven't already. Do remember to check out my social media websites such as Instagram and Twitter for more updates and I'll see you guys really soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!